In this video, I'm going to talk about the number one cryptocurrency project that you need to watch over the next several weeks. So I'm going to talk about that in this video today as a blockchain developer who works with the Ethereum protocol on a daily basis and what you need to know about this. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to become a blockchain master step by step start to finish, then head on over to dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So what is this crazy project that you need to watch out for? Well, it's Uniswap. And I'm going to tell you why in this video. So Uniswap is arguably the most important dApp on top of the Ethereum right now. Of course, Ethereum is at the epicenter of what's happening with decentralized finance or DeFi for short. And Uniswap just came out with version three, which has been a big upgrade for the protocol. And it's got some other really exciting things coming down the pike with layer two scaling solutions that I think are going to be huge for this particular project with all Ethereum dApps, all of DeFi. And we have a lot of people talking about a DeFi summer 2.0 kicking off that can make this space go absolutely nuts. All right. So let's start off with what Uniswap is. So if you've been around this space for a while, you likely already understand this, but let's break it down for people who are new. Well, Uniswap is a decentralized exchange or a DEX, okay? So this is basically a cryptocurrency exchange that's powered by smart contracts. It works in a decentralized way. It's autonomous. It runs on the blockchain. And it has all the benefits of decentralized technology, like it's censorship resistant. You can't have somebody come in like a country or any sort of, uh, you know, legislation shut it down because it's, it doesn't, it's not, it's borderless, right? It's on a blockchain. There's nobody that can just like turn it off. So there's lots of things that, you know, are great about Uniswap that are possible by blockchain technology. But let's talk about why people demand to use decentralized exchanges in the first place, because that's where, you know, Uniswap's value comes from is from consumer demand. Well, you can think about decentralized exchanges in contrast to centralized exchanges. So centralized exchanges would be like, you know, Coinbase, Binance, and others. And the big difference between DEXs versus centralized exchanges are that DEXs, you're, are they're non-custodial. So you have control of your funds the entire time. You'll never run into situations like this where an exchange decides to just like temporarily suspend withdrawals and then you can't get your money out when you need it. All right, this kind of thing happens all the time. And so a combination of this and other benefits of decentralized exchanges, like, you know, don't have to wait for an exchange to list a new coin. You know, with Uniswap, anybody can go create a new liquidity pool and add a new trading pair. There's not this like gatekeeper that's saying, oh, you know, on this date, we're going to add, you know, Dogecoin or something like that. Now, of course, Doge is an ERC-20 token, but for anything that is an ERC-20 token powered on top of Ethereum, you know, it can be added to Uniswap you know, whenever, whenever they want to. So these are the types of benefits that cause consumers to really want to use decentralized exchanges in the first place. We've seen DEX volume go up like crazy over the past, you know, year or so. And you can see here that, um, you know, we'll see here, actually 24 hour volume for all DEXs was here, $4.43 billion, seven days, $34 billion. I mean, it's going absolutely nuts. But here you can see the actual DEX market share. I mean, Uniswap has the vast majority. So it has 61%, okay? And then you have other forks of Uniswap, basically like SushiSwap uh, and others. But Uniswap by far has a majority of the activity on top of it. And so with all that being said, you know, DEXs might be the biggest use case on top of Ethereum right now, in addition to just other cryptocurrencies like tokens. And Uniswap, just by the data here, is by far the most important DEX. So with that line of thinking, like Uniswap is arguably the most important DAP on the Ethereum ecosystem right now. And if Ethereum is the biggest ecosystem, then the entire blockchain uh, ecosystem. So that's the crazy history that it has behind it already, all the momentum. But we do have Uniswap version 3 uh, just hitting the scene, all right? And you can see here that in just seven days, uh, Uniswap version 3 hit $1 billion in 24-hour volume, okay? So seven days after launch, uh, we already had $1 billion in daily trading volume. So this shows you the crazy demand for this new product, okay? And there's all kinds of benefits that have come out of the scene with Uniswap with the upgrade, like uh, the capital efficiency. So this is kind of complicated underneath the hood, but one of the uh, you know benefits that you can see as an end user here is that it results in hardly any slippage. So what does that mean? Well, basically, whenever you trade cryptocurrencies uh, and you say, like, I want to trade a lot, well, then it, let's just say that, let's say the trading price is like, you know, uh, $4,000 per Ether. So if you want to trade like ETH to die, for example, and you trade, you know, one ETH, you'd expect to get 4,000 die back. Now, you might get a little back a little bit less because of this thing called slippage, all right? And the slippage gets worse the higher, you know, you, the more the more cryptocurrency you try to trade in the first place. When the volume goes up for each individual trade, slippage gets worse. But you can see here, uh, when you try to trade two stable coins for one another, with even a $9 million order, that the slippage is only 0.06%. So that's tiny on a 
large trade like this. You can see the input US dollar amount here and the output US dollar amount, and it's only off by about $3,000 on uh, close to a $5 million trade. So that's crazy, and it's got to do with the big improvements that have happened with the Uniswap version 3 protocol, which is gonna attract a lot more people into the space. Now, I know a lot of you watching this video are gonna say, yeah, that's all cool, but it's too expensive to use. Like, I wanna go trade, I don't wanna trade $5 million on Uniswap. You say all this stuff's awesome, but I can't personally use it. Now, I understand that, and I totally get that, but you have to understand there's lots of amazing stuff coming up for Uniswap down the corner with layer two scaling solutions. So these are supposed to be released pretty soon, right after the version three launch, so I don't have a firm timeline on when that's gonna be yet, but this is gonna really change the game for Uniswap and lots of other DeFi applications. Like I said, talking about a DeFi summer 2.0 coming up, and why now is the perfect time to watch a project like this. You know, as always, is not financial advice. I'm not telling you that the price of the uni token itself is going to go up as a result, but I do expect to see an absolute explosion of activity for this particular project. And that's why I'm talking about it right now before we see these layer two scaling solutions come out, because when they do, it's, it's going to be crazy. And one way we can actually observe this is to see what's happened with other decentralized exchanges on other networks. So we saw a lot of migration to uh, Binance Smart Chain. So of course, I've seen Pancake Swap there. What happens with, with that? We've seen a huge transaction volume, lots of more small time traders using those DEXs with much lower fees. And we also see the same thing on Polygon. And whenever layer two scaling solutions come out in full force with Uniswap version three, then I highly expect a lot of that activity to flow back to Ethereum to use the household name, you know, Uniswap, where a lot of the really important pairs are. And another thing that I think is going to be crazy for Uniswap in version three is that they changed the license agreement to where now you can't just fork the Uniswap protocol and create your own app legally. All right. So you have to understand this just because the software's open source, or like you can put the code out there in public so that other people can look at it. That's pretty common practice for blockchain. We want people to see what the code is so they can trust it right before they use it and audit it, all that kind of stuff. Well, that's called open source uh, and those have license agreements associated with them. So just because open source doesn't mean that you can just take the code and do something with it yourself. Now you can, if the license agreement says that you can do that for fair use, for non-commercial purposes, whatever it says. But we've seen a lot of projects, like I said, fork off Uniswap, Pancake Swap, Sushi Swap, all these others. With Uniswap version three, you're not really supposed to do that. Now, I know a lot of people will say, well, hey, how are they gonna enforce that legally if it's a decentralized protocol, like it's an anonymous team or something and they put it on the blockchain, you can't shut it down. Uh, -huh, gotcha. I get that. It's totally true. But part of it's also just the actual sentiment for the projects. So, I mean, I have a hard time thinking that a project that just like totally is operating against the law and everybody knows it is going to eclipse the leader in this space because that really undermines the legitimacy of the projects in the first place. Now, I'm sure they can capture plenty of market share and make plenty of money, but I think that makes it way less likely that uh, they would overthrow somebody like Uniswap, for example. And so for this reason, this really helps secure Uniswap's lead in the DEX space, okay? Because of course, like I said, we saw, you know, Sushi Swap uh, and others just completely forked their project. It's been sort of the spirit of the uh, brand. And I mean, recently we saw people take the uniswap.com domain and redirect it to Sushi Swap. We saw the Sushi Swap, you know, vampire attack early on when Uniswap when it first launched, all that type of stuff. But this is really going to put pressure on other DEXs who like just want to fork features. It's going to put pressure on them to really innovate and create something for themselves. And Uniswap is by far one of those innovative creative teams in the space. They have a lot of, you know, really great intellectual talent. And this is going to be a huge moat for them. So this is why you need to watch this project now, especially before these layer two scaling solutions come out, because I think this is going to absolutely explode. So that's all I got for today. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so the more people can learn about blockchain. If you're as fascinated with this technology as I am and you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my free courses there. They like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those or you want to take the next step, hey, maybe you want to take a master's shortcut entirely. I should become a blockchain master step by step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I felt people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.